Chief Minister Basavaraj Mumai presented the state budget for Karnataka today. In his maiden budget of 2.65 lakh crore, he gave a push for welfare schemes and doled out incentives as well as grants for various groups. This is the last full-fledged budget ahead of polls next year and clearly the CM also had an eye on elections. Here are a few main takeaways from the budget. A total of 8049 crore rupees has been earmarked for the development of Bengaluru. The health sector which has had a tough time will get 500 bed super specialty hospitals in four parts of Bangalore under the public private partnership model. The state government has sanctioned Namma clinics for all wards in Bengaluru which is among the 438 such clinics to come up in the state. 234 lakes across Bangalore urban, Bengaluru rural, Tumukuru and Chikbalapur district will be filled with treated water from Vrishwabhavati river at a cost of 864 crores. 455 crores have been sanctioned for the second phase of the KC Valley project. Make it that project, which is currently a hot political issue in the state, has been allocated 1000 crore rupees. Though the centre is yet to clear the project, the announcement will help BJP ahead of the upcoming BBMP polls, as the Saffron party was caught on the back foot over the issue. In education, 20 selected schools will be developed as Bengaluru public schools at a cost of 89 crore rupees. To prevent flooding in residential areas, which has become all too common in the city during rainy season, 1,500 crore rupees has been earmarked to develop mega storm water drains. However, a complaint is that many of the announcements made in the past, such as allocation for suburban rail project and peripheral ring project, continue to find space in this budget too, leading to concerns that they may continue to remain on paper. Moving on from Bengaluru, a total of 3,000 crores has been allocated for Kalyana Karnataka Region Development Board. Of this, 1,500 crore rupees will be for education, social and economic development and another 1,500 crore rupees for micro projects. Along the line of IITs, the Karnataka government will set up seven Karnataka Institute of Technologies in the state. They are going to come up in Chamrajnagar, Bidar, Haveri, Hasan, Kodagu, Koppal and Bagalkot. Under Raita Shakti Yojana, a 500 crore rupee fund will be set up to help marginal farmers cover fuel costs. There are also plans to brand agriculture and horticulture projects such as Tur Dal and Honey to increase the revenue of farmers. The CM also attempted to please several groups by increasing their honorariums in the budget. These beneficiaries include Pavarakamikas who will get hardship allowance of rupees 2000 per month, Asha workers who get a thousand rupee increase in honorarium and there has been a marginal raise in widow and divorcee pensions among others. The uncertainty over extending the GST compensation scheme to states by the central government appear to have weighed heavily on Chief Minister Basavaraj Bumai's mind as he made multiple references to the same in the budget. GST compensation, a key source of revenue to the state, ends in June this year. The GST compensation accounts to around 22 to 25,000 crore of state revenue annually. State has urged the centre to increase the scheme for three more years. Moreover, revenue crunch has also piled pressure on the state finances as liabilities of the state now stands at 5.18 lakh crore which is 27.49% of the state GSDP. The budget follows the same format as that of its predecessor Yadurappa with sector-wise allocations under what Bommai described as Pancha Sutra. That's all from us. For more on the budget visit www.deckinherald.com and follow our social media channels.